But three days and 200,000 miles into the flight, Mission Control did miss the significance of a cryptic message from the astronauts. Do you have any idea where the uh, N4P is with respect to us? Stand by. The crew required information on the current position of the S4B, the final stage of the rocket which had been jettisoned away two days earlier. This short message hid an extraordinary turn of events. Apollo 11 wasn't alone in space. There was something out there that um, was close enough to be observed and uh, what could it be? Traveling alongside Apollo 11 was a mysterious object, like this one filmed on a later mission. If the object wasn't part of Apollo's rocket, it could be only one thing, a UFO. Mike decided he thought he could see it in the telescope and he was able to do that. And when, when it was in one position, that it had a series of ellipses. But when you made it real sharp, it was sort of L-shaped. That didn't tell us very much. NASA knew very little about um, the object reported by the Apollo 11 crew. It was obviously an unidentified flying object, but such objects were not uncommon. And the history of even Earth orbit space flights going back over the previous years indicated that several crews saw objects. Despite having a clear view of the UFO, the crew were wary of reporting it to mission control. Now, obviously, the three of us were not going to uh, blurt out, hey, Houston, we got something moving alongside of us, and uh, we don't know what it is. You know, can you tell us what it is? We weren't about to do that, because uh, we know that uh, the, those transmissions would be heard by all sorts of people, and uh, uh, who knows what somebody would have demanded that we uh, turn back because of aliens or whatever the reason is. So we, we didn't do that, but we did... Uh, decide we we just cautiously ask uh, Houston where how far away was the S4B unaware of the drama unfolding in space mission control radioed the position back to Apollo 11 Apollo 11 Houston the S4B is about 6,000 nautical miles from you now over and a few moments later why well, they came back and said something like it was 6,000 miles away because of the maneuver. So we really didn't think we were looking at something that far away. So we decided uh, that after a while of watching it, uh, we, it was time to go to sleep and not to talk about it anymore until we came back in, in debriefing. To this day, whatever it was the crew saw has never been positively identified or officially acknowledged. The possibility that you might encounter aliens in space uh, has to be considered in a very sensible and positive and realistic way. Um, there are a lot of people within the program who went off later and became convinced that UFOs existed. And that led to some concern on NASA's part where they got the agreement of the crew never to publicly talk about these things for fear of ridicule. <laughs>